Oh, no. Hey, that looks nice. Hi, are you recording? Yeah. Hi, my name's Rushka. I am doing a YouTube channel so that I can show you and everybody who's interested in how I am doing my veggie garden, what I'm doing in my life to try and help. Okay. <laughs> Two. Hello, my name is Rishka. I'm starting a YouTube Wait, channel. Wait, you, you did this? Hi, <laughs> Shifu. Hello, brother. Okay. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rishka. I'm doing a YouTube channel so that I can show you and everybody in the world who's interested or who cares what I do in my life to try and make a difference in the world. To try and grow organic food, make my children big, strong, healthy specimens, and to make a difference in the world with the current food crisis that we are having because of the big debates of genetically modified food and hardcore pesticides and herbicides that are used in our plants. I'm going to take you with me when I go and meet people in the permaculture world, in the take you to projects that people are doing in schools to plant food and I'm going to show you the herbal remedies that we're using and I'm going to I don't know what else I'm going to do but as things happen we'll do them and you can see I my interest in plants came from my granny she wears garlic around her neck to ward off the vampires <laughs> no actually it's a bug and she loves plants and she would plant things in in boots and toilet bowls and anything she can find. Everywhere you look there are plants, broken pots, you name it. And she used to pick up all the fruit off the floor and cut out all the rotten bits and stuff them in our faces when we were small. We weren't allowed to waste one tiny thing. In fact, for our birthday or Christmas presents, we would get a half an apple wrapped up in some newspaper. We were never allowed to eat whole apples because that would be wasting. So that granny who loves herbs <laughs> is my influence. And I've always so I've always loved plants, but my greatest interest came when my daughter was about 13 years ago. She had infantile eczema and I didn't want to use any cortisone or anything that was would be have long term side effects on her. So I found somebody who knew about herbs and she handed me this bag of herbs and told us to drink it, told her to drink it in hot water and her eczema went away in three days and from that day forth I was so inspired by herbs that I started researching them and studying them and learning about natural remedies. I even started making my own concoctions in my kitchen, for a kitchen, it's a bit chaos, <laughs> you know, beeswax, you know, pots that could never recover. But luckily, there are people who actually make those, and we have a lot of them in our beautiful country. So I, I don't have to destroy my kitchen anymore because there is organic natural remedy. So from then on, I started researching plants. And that is why I love them. And that is why I'm sharing it with you. Ciao, ciao! <laughs> gangsta, gangsta, gangsta! <laughs>